principles. I want to come back to not your keys, not your coins, and what does this actually mean? In Bitcoin and most of the other cryptocurrencies like Ethereum, you can create, everyone can create a wallet, an address. When you create an address, you will get a public address, which is like your email address, an address which is public, where everybody can send tokens or coins to and you will receive a key, a secret key, a private key. This key is like your password to your email account, but in this case it's not your email account, it is actually your Bitcoin or Ethereum or other cryptocurrency account. Only you know that key and if you do not tell this key to anyone or if you do not lose that key no one will ever be able to access your Bitcoin meaning sending them to a different address or um, yeah, spending them basically. Creating such a Bitcoin wallet is easy but it's also dangerous and this is why there are banks and exchanges who offer custodial services. That means they will create the Bitcoin wallet for you or any other cryptocurrency, but they also own and have your private key, your secret key. Meaning if they get hacked or if they don't like you or they just disappear from one day to another, your Bitcoin and your Ethereum that you have with them or any other cryptocurrency will be lost. And gone forever so in order to protect yourself from such an event um, you have to learn how to create a cryptocurrency wallet and also how to store and protect your private key the most simple and straightforward solution is to download a software wallet any wallet there are a couple of ones I can suggest later a few that I personally use. For example, the official Bitcoin wallet that you get from bitcoin.org. And after creating or in the process of creating a wallet address, you will also receive a secret private key. It is advised to not store this key in your Apple Notes or any other Notes app. You can maybe store it in a password safe if you use such a thing, but actually it's advised to not store that secret key, that private key digitally at all. So it cannot be stolen digitally, it cannot be copied from you. Therefore, we talk about a paper wallet or paper backup meaning you write down this key and you hide it somewhere at home or at your mother's place or at any other safe place where you can be sure that only you know the place and that it's secretly hidden there. As long as you have that secret key, that private key, which is usually um, 12 to 24 words, English words, you will always be able to access your Bitcoin or, the, or other cryptocurrency and no one in the world, no government, no exchange, no police, no no one can access your Bitcoin or cryptocurrency without that key. Um, many people have, yeah, are afraid of themselves that they're going to lose or forget the location where they saved this key or that it maybe somebody finds it and uses it in the offline world, even though this is unlikely if you, if you, you know, find a good secret place. So there are companies who thought about this problem and they developed little devices like USB sticks. And these little devices, they work with USB or with Bluetooth and they actually store your private key, your secret key on that little device in a little chip. This little device is protected with a pin code like 
you know, the pin code of your bank card. So you only need to remember the pin code. And as long as you remember the pin code, you can always unlock the device and access with that device your Bitcoin or other cryptocurrency. There are a couple of companies which are around since 10 years or so, or yeah, nearly 10 years. One is Ledger, one is Trether. I will also post the link in my description. And using these devices is considered the most secure way to store your private key or secret key. Usually it's called a private key in a way that even if you lose that device, nobody can access it except of you knowing this pin code in order to unlock the device. Also, this device again has a paper backup with usually 12 to 24 words that you can hide in the same way like if you use a software wallet. The big difference between a software wallet and a hardware wallet, which is the device, is that the software wallet, as long as you have it installed on your, on your computer or on your smartphone, still has a copy of your secret or private key. Meaning, is if, if the software has a bug or if somebody gains access to your device, they also have access to your private secret key and therefore also access to your cryptocurrency. So having the key stored in a software wallet on your device is not as safe as having your key stored on a hardware wallet. Also the hardware wallet, there is no way to extract or copy your key out of the wallet because it is your key, your secret key is stored in a so-called secure element. It's a little hardware chip which is inside the device and it can prove or it, it can be used to show and access your Bitcoin but there's no way even if somebody finds a device and is able to open it and get this chip there is no way or no known way to extract and copy the private key out of this hardware secure element meaning on the software there is still a copy that can uh, uh, there's still your private secret key that can be copied and in the hardware wallet, the private secret key is so much hidden inside hardware, inside a secure element, that there is no way to extract it. So if you want to be 100% sure, please buy a hardware wallet, understand how to use it. There are many videos on YouTube, but also the creators of those hardware wallets usually provide a very, very good software and explanation on how to use it. And when you use such a hardware wallet, um, it is basically impossible to steal your coins or to confiscate them or anything like that. Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is a lot about freedom, decentralization, independence. And if you want to be independent from the banking system, if you want to be sure that no one can ever take away your digital assets, let it be Bitcoin or Ethereum, then it is highly and strongly advised to use such a hardware wallet. They are well tested, well developed, hundreds of thousands of people use it already. And it's the only known safe way right now to actually store, use, access and protect your digital assets. I hope this video um, open some eyes and helped you to make a decision and if you have questions please post them in the comments I'm happy to answer them